What's up everybody? We're fishing a brown bag tournament this morning. What is that you might ask? Many of you may be familiar, but some of you maybe are not so familiar. Brown bag tournament is when you take a bag full of lures that fit a certain criteria of what you're supposed to bring, but you pick the lures yourself and that's your entry fee. So we go and we draw numbers and depending on what number you have, you have the corresponding bag. So you don't know what you're fishing with. Only thing I know that I will have at least six soft plastic baits with five jig heads. Don't know what kind, what size, what color. I know there'll at least be two colors. I'll have two hard baits and then a bonus bait of the person's choosing. So we kind of know what we're getting into, but we don't really. Heaviest three fish wins. And also, the person that supplied the winning bag is a winner. I don't know what the prizes are going to be, but we're going to go fishing. Let's go. So this is the bag that I'm bringing, not the bag I'm using. Of course, I guess you could draw your own bag. So I'm bringing five H&H &H, uh, Pro jig heads. It's three of them in eighth ounce and two and a quarter ounce, just in case. My soft plastics, I've got two wedge tail mullets in the gold mine color and I've got two uh, vortex shads and Spartacus no I'm sorry that's not Spartacus that's kamikaze and I've got two chicken boy little bitty three inch shrimp as a finesse bait I don't even know what color that is what they call it might be chicken on a chain then for one of my hard baits or one of my bonus baits, depending on how you look at it, is just a regular old H and H big beetle spin with a quarter ounce uh, jig head. I swapped it out for an H and H Pro jig head. I've called bull reds on those things, so they hold up just fine. And I've got an H two O Express Coastal Wake bait in there, and that's a mullet color. And the trusty old sheep pup. So I don't get to fish these baits unless I draw my own number, which is highly unlikely. We actually have several people that are supposedly coming to fish this thing. So let's get down to Big Lake and uh, draw some numbers. All right, everybody's got their baits. So I got this Redfish Magic Spinner Bait and a weight bait almost identical to what I put in the bag. Good old Johnson Spoon. And soft plastics that I would use. Matrix shad, vortex shad, and wedge tail mullets. So it's pretty much a bag that I would use. We lucked out. Let's go do some fishing. Oh, he came off. He was going anyway. Kind of hanging out on this point here. See some on the shoreline too. So. That one wasn't going to win any turns. That tells me something about them. They're off the shore a bit. Kind of, kind of see the tide line, and they're past that. I'm glad I have the spinner bait in the back because it's just about the perfect bait for this scenario. Well, here I am in the back of a shallow pocket directly off of one of the main marsh drains in this particular area. The tide's working in tandem with the wind blowing bait fish right into the mouths of hungry redfish, but unfortunately I was only able to pick up one red in this area. But uh, he was a fatty that went just over 24 inches, and when the bite's this tough, I will certainly take it. Also, I'm not sure why the camera's internal mic just decided to stop working for a bit, but it did, so enjoy the music, I guess. As you can see, I initially put this fish on the stringer, but you can see there that he inhaled this bait uh, so badly that I ended up uh, dispatching him and putting him in the cooler instead when I realized he was not going to survive on the stringer. All right, pick something up trolling on the crankbait. Oh, we found some offshore. A little deeper water, probably over reef, because I see PVC mark right there. All right, hopefully we can get this guy landed because this is just number two. The other one was a short. I missed so many fish today. Might be over. 
pulling me around. Oh no, don't go under the boat. bigger than he was. finally died down a little bit more so I can talk <laughs> and uh, the wind noise isn't terrible it's kind of been a tough day for me uh, from what it sounds like you know folks are doing well but they're catching small fish um, I'm sure there's somebody going to come in with a pretty good stringer but, um, I've got two right now I'm gonna try to pick up one more right next to the launch and uh, we'll take it from there I haven't really had a whole lot of good luck with redfish over here by the launch but I usually catch flounder pretty good over here in the fall Anyway, that's the plan. All right, this is the stringer to beat, I think, right? Oh, goodness. Oh. He said he had some small fish in there. <laughs> I don't think he's long enough. Oh, nice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that one's over 22. Yay. There's our winner. That's the winner. I'm calling it. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up at the weigh-in. Uh, I either got second or third place, I'm really not sure. Uh, a little over six pounds. Uh, <laughs> for two fish, I guess that's not too bad. But um, Vincent ended up winning with a little over 11 pounds, uh, which is a pretty decent stringer. And Ethan also won an Academy gift card because he supplied the baits that Vincent used to win. Uh, all in all, really fun tournament. I'd like to do this format again in the near future. And uh, if you would like to become a part of the Lake Charles Kayak Fishing Club, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can see how to join. And as always, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, and we'll see you next time right here on the Chris Harper Show. Y'all have a good day. Well, if you're feeling way down low, tune in to the Chris Harper Show. Everything. Gonna fall right into place.